just finished some digging. Uh, cobblestone, coal were really the only fruits of that labour. I'm surprised I'm not more hungry than I am. I don't really want the floor being the same colour as the walls, do I? Yeah, they're going to take forever, aren't they? What should I do next? Maybe I could have a little explore. I look at my coordinates. 1, 5, 6 and 20. Okay. Should be memorable enough. Let's explore a bit. What's that? That's new. That wasn't there the last time I played Minecraft. Is this a broken nether portal? Do they... Oh, of course, there was a big nether update, wasn't there? I haven't played it since the nether update came in. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> Holy cow, what treasure. That is actually amazing. Epic loot. I know golden armor isn't the best, but hey, I'll take this over nothing. And you know what? I'll take the chest as well. It's free. It's free real estate. Is this, like, tainted? Can that, can that not be used? Is that pure gold? Pure gold up there. Excellent. Um, apparently getting an oak log is a recipe. And make this into planks. I get a nice stairway. Always hold shift when walking on a precarious surface. And yeah, that's definitely gold. Can I dig gold with a stone pickaxe? It's a bit slow. <laughs> that didn't drop, did it? No. Okay, no, I need an iron pickaxe. Let's retreat and skip the night. <coughs> oh god, go away, zombie. Yeah, that's what you get, son. That's what you get, son. <laughs> Ooh, let's make these uh, nuggets into ingots. A 3x3 three three square makes a rectangle? Question mark. That's not bad. Four gold ingots. And I'm up to five iron ingots. So what am I after? An iron pickaxe. Time for an upgrade. There we go. Right, let's go for gold. Oh god. Oh yeah, they hurt you. Why am I suddenly breaking a whole bunch of glass? Oh, it's because it's not meant to grow on nether, is it? Nether rat. Can I get that? No, I can't. Where are those planks? Why can I not... Oh, because it's a half step. Hey, there we go. Okay, well that was something interesting. I got some gold, got some uh, iron nuggets from that. And I, perhaps I can scavenge the obsidian when I get a diamond pickaxe. Pigs. Loads of pigs over there. And what's this? Pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkins. What the hell? I'll have some pumpkins as well. Why the heck not? Wooden axe. Surprisingly efficient in chopping pumpkins. You know, I don't know about you, but I tried cooking with a pumpkin once. It took ages. They are so tough. So hard to cut. I mean, I might not have had the right tools for it at the time, but I thought, ah, how hard can it be? It was very hard. Literally and figuratively. Very difficult. If you're going to cook with a pumpkin, Make sure you've got like some sort of serrated edge to saw it in half with because kitchen knives do not do the job. Get some more cheeky cane. Um, I mean, really, I want to find a village so I can see what I can trade my belongings with. Get some sort of business arrangement going with a. Are they still called testificates or are they just called villagers now? They're just called villagers now, aren't they? Get to another high vantage point so I can see more of what's around me. Okay, what we got? Oh, bees! Bees are a thing now. Of course they are. Will they, will they kill me if I eat the honey? So it seems there's nothing but sort of woodlands. Woodlands and a mountain range. I mean, I suppose if I want the best view, the top of the mountain is the way to go. No, I think I think I dig for some more materials and then... Yes, that's, what, that's right, that's what I was getting after. I was getting iron and redstone so that I can make a map, so that I can go explore properly. That was my aim. That's my goal. Is it is it cheating if I use F3 to find out my coordinates? I don't think it is. I mean, it's, it's in the game. You know, it's, it's there. It's just there. It just works. Oh yep, there's my uh, abandoned nether portal. Home sweet home, which needs a, needs a significant improvement and fast. Okay, a better axe. Better shovel. Two better swords. There we go. Oh, I could do with some more food, really. Um, I suppose I could go and slaughter those pigs and get some pork chops. That's not very ethical, but uh, when needs must. And while I'm at it, I'll get some sand and I'll get some ruddy good windows in my house. House, inverted commas. Right, where were they? There they are. Time to meet your maker. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mommy Pig. Okay. I feel awful. I feel terrible. I'm a horrible person. I'm over it now. I had to. I had no choice. I, I needed I needed the food and my wheat is taking too long to grow. I mean, I mean, I suppose I could get bone meal, but that means putting myself up against skeletons and they're a nightmare. Has their knockback been nerfed? I don't know. Cook the pork chop, go mining, and I will probably continue mining until I run out of food. And then that'll be my cue to return to the surface. 
I may well end up spending the night down in the mines. Yeah, it's fine by me. I might come back up to a whole bunch of monsters, but what can you do? Let's go digging. Is that my mine shaft? There it is. Torches. I need more torches, don't I? Plenty of wood for sticks. Let's just make 37. Yeah, that would be fair. And while I dig, I will use this opportunity to talk to you about my sponsor. No, I don't have a sponsor. I doubt I ever will have a sponsor because, again, this is just a hobby. I don't expect it to be a success, therefore I do not expect to be sponsored at any time. Uh, no, perhaps I will use this opportunity to tell you about myself. As you can tell from the channel name, I did think about a more fancy name, but I thought, nah. If I'm just doing gaming videos about my gaming, then I'm not trying to get some sort of brand across. It's just me playing games and rambling. So, Rob Gaming it is. And besides, I think Rob Gaming actually is a bit catchy, if I'm honest. I am a huge Transformers nerd. I have a collection and I do enjoy playing the Transformers games uh, of what little there are out there. Perhaps, for good measure, I will do a Transformers series next. I don't know. I'll either depend on the wheel of names that I mentioned earlier, or I will just dive into a game that I know and love, War for Cybertron, and then Fall of Cybertron. I mean, I did quite enjoy watching uh, Few, Few's awesome Transformers reviews. He had a gaming channel as well. And he played War for Cybertron. That was a hoot, as is the, the guy himself is a hoot. How am I doing depth-wise? 16, okay. 15... 14, 13, I think 12 is the magic number. Dig to level 12, that's just about where diamonds start spawning. Pick a random direction, and let's just start digging. Aha! Redstone! Just what I needed. Combine this with the iron I've got upstairs, and the paper, and I will have made my first map. This really has been an unusually successful gameplay so far. Maybe I should actually start actually tackling some monsters, so that at least there's a level of threat to my survival. In terms of valuability, uh, Dirt is less valuable than cobblestone, so I will use dirt to fill in these gaps. And I've got more lapis. Am I right in thinking that lapis actually has a use now, that you need it to enchant things? Oh, excellent! Diamond! Honestly, this has been my luckiest gameplay ever. And four diamonds, so that's enough for a diamond pickaxe to get some obsidian, plus one more. So have I been downstairs long enough for the night to pass? No, I have not. But the doorway is literally right around the corner. So you may not rest now, there are monsters nearby. Of course there are, why would they go away? Right, let's go deal with these bad guys. Oh god, they would be creepers, wouldn't they? Is it the creepers? Are they the only things that are nearby? They're moving off though. They're off to go mess with the cows instead. Ah, there we go. Literally, there's no challenge here. How do I get myself a challenge? It looks like one bit of wheat is ready, but I need three before I can start making bread. Okay, what have I got? Uh, gold, I'll smelt that, and I'll get the three diamonds and make a pickaxe. There we go. Magnificent. Please also excuse my uh, recording setup. It's uh, not the best, I'm aware. Um, but when I did my test footage, uh, the audio was just with my laptop mic rather than my headset mic, and that sounded even worse. So I've actually done you a favour by using slightly less crap equipment. Uh, right, let's... Uh, I think I've... No, I don't quite have enough materials to make a map. I need two more iron to make a compass. Although a compass in itself is really good because it points you back to the spawn location, which I'm not too far away from, so if I get back to the spawn I should be able to find my way back here easily enough. Perhaps I can even deliberately make a series of signs from the spawn to my house so that I can always find it again. I'm tired of walking on grass. I'm just going to quickly lay down a floor speed through this real quick. There we go. Nice oak plank floor. I mean, obviously I'm going to upgrade my base as time goes on. I think I said at one point that I was going to get some sand to make windows with. Um, you know, I keep wanting to press R to sort the inventory because that's one of the things that the mod inventory tweaks does really well with inventory sorting. That is, uh, that's something else that drew me to playing Minecraft in vanilla mode. I mean, yes, Minecraft has been overplayed to all buggery, but it's all modded now. People went from vanilla and moved over to mods because obviously that makes it more interesting. But now it's like even mods have lost their appeal. You know, I mean, obviously there are still some really great mods out there, and they do really add to the game. You can add some ridiculous things. You can add some. You can add some more simple things. Even just the most basic tweak can make a huge difference. But I wanted to get back to the roots of the game. I wanted to 
just have a really nice straightforward survival series in vanilla Minecraft, no mods, no additions, just me, the game, and my shoddy recording setup. That's it.